We grow uh, hundreds of species of native plants that are available uh, in public sale. They're also taken down to the zoo for uh, uh, for planting into the landscape down there as well. We also do conservation work here with uh, rare and endangered species of plants in cooperation with the crew, which is our uh, scientific lab at the zoo. And with that, we're also doing uh, habitat restoration here. We've uh, put in some wetlands and prairies and we're modifying the uh, uh, the forest here, forested land on the property. So we're trying to improve the habitat. Today what we're doing is supplementing our prairie restoration uh, with our partnership with Warren County Correctional. A couple years ago, we developed a collaboration with the zoo and started planting milkweed at the prison. They were able to add valuable production space for us and they were able to grow several thousand milkweed and liatris. We have a greenhouse at the prison. The inmates uh, got involved and started planting milkweed. First of all, milkweed is the best plant for monarchs to uh, start the, the life cycle with the eggs and the larva. And then as, the, as they hatch, as adults, they need nectar plants, and that's where the liatris uh, comes in. So by planting both of those, we're able to complete the cycle, raise, hopefully, over the years, thousands of monarchs here on the property and prepare them for their journey down to uh, winter in Mexico. You know, when I think of butterflies, I think of transformation. And in believing that people can transform, in believing that people can be rehabilitated, that people can be better, uh, helping each other, and that process is valuable. This is just um, our effort as staff members to get involved. Uh, the plants are uh, dormant for winter, so by planting them now, it's probably the best planting time. Uh, they'll go in and they'll actually establish over the winter. Uh, as long as the ground isn't frozen, the, the, the uh, roots will keep growing. So by next summer, when it gets hot and dry again, uh, these plants should be established enough that they won't need, uh, won't need any supplemental water. Really, it's an educational tool uh, for our education department, our vocational teachers involved, uh, and it's been a wonderful um, opportunity for them to be engaged, not just learning from the book or learning from the greenhouse, but actually learning from the zoo. I think when you look at the, you know, certainly, you know, just at, at monarchs right now, their, their numbers have been crashing for a number of reasons, uh, habitat loss and, and, and wintering habitat and uh, lack of milkweed. And I think just by returning that, we're, we're returning um, the, the, the balance of nature back to where it, uh, where it should be.